Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, out here doing a, a little bit of more video testing and it occurred to me that we have never actually, as far as I can tell looking at records, we've never fired this gun. This is a Benelli B76. Um, it's brought in by Sile, S-I-L-E in uh, New York, New York. And it is chrome plated. Now, I believe this may have been chrome plated in the United States by the importer. I'm not sure why I remember that, but, um, uh, you know, pretty, pretty hard gun to come by. I'm not going to say it's a good gun. I don't, well, we've never fired it. We actually have three magazines for this, which in itself is kind of a miracle, but there's a couple interesting things, uh, that I've kind of figured out before we even fire the gun. So the first thing is the magazines are seven, they appear to be seven round magazines and you don't really use the, um, uh, the, the up little loader to load these, you just pull down with your finger and slide and, and you know, and, and pull down the follower and kind of like a Luger magazine. So kind of fiddly that way. The other thing is, let me, let me show you this. So this is a, this is a, it's a GA SA gun, pretty typical. Now looking at it, when I pulled it out of the truck here at the range, Look at the uh, the slide stop. See how low it is sitting? There's no magazine in the gun right now. And I'm thinking, holy crap, is this thing coming out or is it broken or did something fall out of it or is it partially disassembling? No, actually, that's the way it sits. That's the way it sits until the follower is empty, an empty magazine, it comes all the way up. That's kind of how it sits. So that's a little hanky to me, but you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and do some first shots. Hopefully it doesn't blow up and uh, let's... Uh, See how it goes. Right. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks. We'll see if that even feeds. Nine Parabellum, it's the right ammo, so just make sure to make a mistake. You know what? I'm going to do it with my left hand, just in case we have an accident. And hit the target, malfunction. Wow. That feeding angle is terrible. So let's try it again. And it kind of cuts you when you fire the gun. <clears throat> See how deep the round is? It's almost like, all righty. I'm gonna, yeah, hold on, safety on. Just the one time shooting it and the thumb safety show you this the thumb safety is actually fairly easy to actuate it goes straight up and down but with a you know you 1911 guys it actually works pretty well so but uh when you ride thumbs high that angle that rear uh that rear corner man it cuts the hell out of your finger so all right let's do let's do hold it low get some more magazines. At least it's functioning. Let's see where it prints. Yeah, loaded with the slide stop. I'm gonna hold, hold low on the gun. Let's do for headshot. It's almost, it's almost like my hand is actually causing the malfunction. 
it recoils like a straight flow back. It actually might be, I don't remember. Let's try really low. Weird how it feeds. Let's take a look at this. Pretty low. Let's go a little bit higher. There's a head shot. Over the head. There's a head shot. All right. Anything. Let's see if we can't uh, do the plate rack. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Let's try it from this angle. I'm going to hold it extremely high. That's the Benelli B76. I got to be honest with you with the name Benelli on it, I would have uh, I would have thought it'd been more enjoyable to shoot. This gun actually kind of sucks. So if you're thinking about picking one up because Benelli or some kind of, uh, I don't know, ancient 70s vibe, this gun sucks.